Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Liberty Life Lessons. This will be episode number 44. The song I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is the song from the intro, and that's called Bones by Crumb. This is another requested song, so big shout out to Morgan B for requesting this. As soon as Morgan requested it, I knew right away I was gonna eventually be making a tutorial for it. Something funny about this song is back in the day, I met this really cute girl at a music festival. I told her I was into indie a lot at the time, like Mac DeMarco, King Cruel, that type of vibe. She recommended I check out Crumb and Home Shake. And I told her my favorite song out of all the Crumb songs was this one. Naturally, I searched up the guitar tab online and I found one that looked pretty good. It just looked like Chinese to me. Now it's been a couple years, so I feel like I have a better idea of what I'm doing and I can kind of recognize what chord shapes are in the song. That's why I wanted to put this video together for you guys. I know the tab can be a lot harder to read and it's a lot easier to probably watch somebody play it in front of you. Also, there's some weird time signatures in this song, so I'll walk you through those parts as well. I'm gonna break this song into three easy sections. I'm gonna show you guys the intro first, and I'll show you the guitar intro as well as the keyboard, because I think it sounds really, really cool. Then we'll move on and I'll show you guys the main chords, which are arpeggiated. After that, I'm gonna show you guys the bridge, which seems really complicated. Again, it's really hard to learn on paper, but that's why I wanted to make this video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the chord shapes for the bridge and then the timing of it, like the time signature, and how I like to count it so you guys can learn it faster. All right, so without further ado, let's go on and learn the song. All right, so to start the song, we're gonna arpeggiate this really cool D major seven voicing, which is gonna look like this. I'm gonna have my index finger on the third fret of the B string, my middle finger on the fourth fret of the D string, my ring finger on the fifth fret of the E string, and my pinky on the sixth fret of the G string. It's gonna sound like that. And again, we're gonna arpeggiate it, and I'm just gonna assign each finger to a string. So I'll have thumb, index, middle, and ring, and then I'm gonna come back up. So. And so we'll play that eight times. And then after the eighth time, we're gonna play this part right here. So I'm gonna start with my middle finger on the 10th fret of the A string, my ring finger on the 10th fret of the G string, my pinky on the 10th fret of the B string. I'm gonna reach back here with my index finger to hit the eighth fret of the E string. And we're gonna do the same thing we did with the uh, D major seven up top. We're gonna just arpeggiate it. And then I'm gonna move my pinky up a fret, hit 11th of the B, so. And I'm gonna go straight into this F major seven and just arpeggiate it straight down. Then we can slide down two frets and go. And I like to fret the notes on the E string with my thumb for this song, so I'll go. And then we're into the main part of the song. And if you're struggling with that shape down here, that little, the way I like to think of it is like a D minor 11. 
but all these move down a string. You know, Tom Mitch likes to use a minor 11 chord a lot, like in uh, Nightgowns. He goes. All right, so since we just learned that intro, I'm gonna show you guys the little keyboard lick and what it sounds like over the intro. So real quick, let's just go ahead and loop it. Right, so the keyboard looks gonna sound like this. Right, and then we're into that little Alright, so that's how you play the intro. Let's move on to the main part of the song now. All right, cool. So we just started in the intro and now we're on to the main part of the song. And these are gonna be some pretty easy chord shapes. I'm gonna show you guys each one of them, but first I'm gonna play it for you guys so you guys know what it sounds like. And then we'll run through the different chord shapes. So it's gonna sound like this. All right, so the first chord we're gonna play is this A major seven. And you'll notice I like to use my thumb to fret the root note of all these chords. I just think it's a lot easier that way. You can play it like this, or you can play it, you know, like, like that, whichever way you prefer. But again, if you're not familiar with this voicing, I just like to think of it as like an A minor. Played up the neck and then fretting the root note with your thumb, obviously. And we're just gonna arpeggiate it similar to how we did the chords in the intro. So then the next chord is gonna be this one here. I'm gonna call this a G Lydian dominant chord. And the way I like to think of this one is like a D minor shape, but you move everything up a string. You fret the root note with your thumb. And we'll just move that shape down to a F sharp a Lydian dominant chord, right? So two times on the A minor. Time each on the leading dominant chords and the same picking pattern the whole time and we'll repeat that part back up to the a major seven and then we're gonna come all the way up here to the tenth fret and play this d minor seven like that and then i'm gonna play this g9 And this is the easiest way, I think, to play this part. Sometimes I'll play it live, you know, down here, kind of like a... But I just prefer... Like that. And then we're back to the A major seven. Then the G leading dominant. And then we'll finish with this F major seven. about halfway through the song, I'll sometimes play that tension and then... Again, we're gonna arpeggiate all those chords and then we're gonna arpeggiate it a little bit differently for the verse. So for the verse, it's gonna sound like this. Again, it's the same chords there. We're just gonna be plugging them and playing the individual strings sometimes. So not too hard there. All right, let's go on and learn that bridge. All right, so now we're on to the bridge, right? And this is gonna be a really weird part of the song because it's in a weird time signature. So it's gonna be kind of like in two parts. I'm gonna show you guys the chords, of course. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play through it and loop it. And I'm gonna try to explain to you guys how I like to count it to help you guys out. So again, it's a little bit tricky if you're first getting into it. If you're just looking at the tabs, you know, it's really hard to 
kind of see that from the tabs. So that's my goal in putting together this video is so that you guys can see me play it and see how I like to count it. And so you guys can hopefully learn it faster than I did. This section is gonna start with the same D major seven voicing from the intro, except we're gonna be playing a little bit differently. So this part is gonna sound like this. cool so I just looped that section and I'll show you guys the chords first and how to play it and then we'll come back to the loop and I'll show you how I like to count it in my head all right so to start the bridge again we're gonna be starting with that same D major 7 voicing from the intro and we'll just be playing it a little bit differently the way we're gonna play this I'll play it slowly for you guys and zoom in a little pause and then again So up to speed. And then we're gonna come up here to this D minor seven again. Just plug it a couple times, straight into this F major seven. And then we're gonna go down two frets to the E flat major seven. Play it like that a few times into the A major seven. So that part again slowly. All right, so then we're into this weird chord right here. I'll put the name of it up on the screen, but essentially I'm just barring the fifth fret right here with my index and then barring the bottom three strings with my middle finger. And then with my pinky, actually, I'm gonna hit the seventh fret of the E string here. So it's gonna sound like that. And so we'll go like that and then move it down a fret each and we'll go. I'm gonna hammer on right there to the sixth fret of the G string. So it'll be. And then we're back into the A major seven. And then we'll play it again. This time we're gonna play that D minor seven up here like this. So I'm using my thumb again to fret the root note and then I'm just gonna move my index finger down here and I'm gonna fret the G so it'll be. And then we'll finish off with that G Lydian and then we're back into the, we're back into four four again back into that F major seven. All right, so let's play through that bridge one time real slowly. Cool, and again, I already have it looped from before, so I'll show you guys how I like to count it now. So let's talk about the time signature for that bridge, right? And you can call this whatever you want to. I'm gonna call it three, four, two, four, because it's kind of like three fast beats and two slow beats. You'll see what I mean when I count over it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate the looper here so it plays what I played for you guys in the intro, and I'm just gonna count right over what I played so you guys can kind of get a feel for it. Again, this is the advantage of a video. It's kind of tough to learn this part from the tabs, so I'm really hoping that this section will help you guys out in learning the bridge. So let's go ahead and get started. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. 
one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, pause, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, pause, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, pause, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, pause, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we're back into four, four, right? So again, I really hope that helps you guys out in learning the song. Now I'm coming at you guys from a different angle. This is like a last minute throw in. I actually didn't learn this part when I was learning the song a few weeks back and you know, months ago, I skipped right over this, but I saw a tab online, they have an official tab. I just kind of stole this from that and wanted to show you guys in case any of you would prefer to play the guitar solo and I actually have a pick for this. What I'm gonna do is just play it slowly for you guys and zoom in with the tabs. So the solo is gonna sound like this. All right, so now I'm just gonna play that really slowly with the tabs so that you guys can learn it faster. So here we go. So vibrato, that last note right there. All right, and then we're gonna do this little shape right here. It's kind of like part of a major seven shape. So we'll go. And just do a little bend on that last note. And then again, a little more of a bend the second time around. Then we're coming up here to 13 with our middle finger. We're gonna go quick bend and release, right? 14 on the G. And then I'm gonna bar the 12th fret right here. And I'm gonna go So once again, again, I just had to put that in there because I think it sounds so, so cool. If you guys are still watching at this point, thank you very much. All right, so that does it for the lesson, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanna ask you guys to please like this video. Please consider subscribing because I have some very cool song requests coming up from you guys in the very near future. I wanna thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of the video. And until next time, my name is Charlie with Liberty Loft Lessons, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.